everyone, Zoe here, and today I'm super excited to talk to you because we're going to be doing December favorites. <music> Guys, can you believe it? 2017 is almost here. I can't even believe it, but I'm so excited because I've got a lot of goals planned up ahead and a lot of really great content coming for you guys. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe below. It really helps me out a lot. Let's get into it. Starting things off, I'm gonna let you guys know what I read this month. I was listening to Money in the Law of Attraction by Jerry and Esther Hicks, which I did mention to you guys in my November favorite. So I went back and re-listened to a few chapters this month. That's what I like to do with audiobooks too because I find that that there was something that really interests me or something that really inspired me, I'll go back and listen to certain chapters. So I did give that book pretty much a full re-listen and then I also listened to Hashtag Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso. And honestly, I love this book. I listened to it on Audible again and it was fantastic. It was super inspiring and motivating. And to be quite honest with you guys, this book had been in my wish list on Audible for quite some time, but I didn't go to actually getting it because I was worried that it didn't apply to me because I know that she is a CEO, founder of Nasty Gal. And I'm not, you know, too into the fashion scene. I'm not into having an e-commerce business right now. I'm more so interested in a spiritual manifesting type pathway, but this book is great. Honestly, I recommend it to guys too. Just because it's called hashtag girl boss doesn't mean you can't learn anything from it. It's just super inspiring to hear about her story. Basically, it's a rags to riches story. I'll give you one example from the book. So she would steal and then resell things online and make money and then Nasty Gal was born. So she tells the story about how she actually shoplifted on Michael Kors watch and then a couple years down the road, she's sitting in an office meeting with the CEO of Michael Kors. It's crazy how much your life can turn around and it's crazy how you just never really know. I don't know where I'm gonna be in say three years, five years, but it's just cool to think back and we've all had our trials and errors and we've all learned from our mistakes. So this is just a great example of that, that anyone can learn from. So definitely recommend it if you haven't read it yourself. And if you have, let me know below what you thought about it. So next, I want to talk about a couple of things that I got for my birthday. If you guys haven't checked out my Paris vlog, I'll link it below. That was my birthday present to myself and honestly, it was a total dream come true. It was just way better than I expected. Paris was absolutely beautiful, the weather was great and I got to go with my friend Ingrid and she got me a lovely present which was vegan chocolate, which obviously, you guys, that didn't last longer than 24 hours. <laughs> but she got me this rose quartz bracelet and it's so cute and adorable and I love crystals. If you guys have been following me along for a while, or if you've checked out my favorites playlist, you'll know that I am a big fan of crystals. And I love how cute and small this is, and it just goes with absolutely everything. So sweet. So rose quartz, referred to as the heart crystal, because it is a little bit of feminine energy, unconditional love, and it's just a great opening of the heart crystal to have. So I'm very excited that now I can wear it on my wrist every day. And Ingrid also picked me up this piece of amethyst. And this is such a nice piece of amethyst. It's very raw looking. I think I've mentioned this to you guys before, but I actually actually sleep with crystals underneath my pillow. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's kind of weird. So amethyst is used for healing and balancing energy. So if you're somebody who's maybe anxious or tends to worry or stress about things, amethyst is just a great calming crystal. So I'm very happy to have a raw piece of this. Very lucky to have such a thoughtful friend. Next, as I showed you guys as well in my Paris vlog, my friend Parker drew this amazing picture for me of the Eiffel Tower and honestly, it's just so stunning. It's just one of the most amazing gifts I've ever received. So I want to show you guys this again <laughs> because it truly means a lot to me. It's just very thoughtful. It just goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make a very memorable gift for somebody. Like this is just so sweet and I'm definitely going to frame it soon. <laughs> maybe it will be my manifesting tool to move to Paris because maybe I'll move to Paris next. I don't even know. <laughs> So next, my five euro shades, my old good old five euro shades, they perished, they snapped and broke, but you know what, they lasted me through the whole summer here and the beginning of my months in Rome. It was time for me to pick up a new pair of glasses. So I picked these up from a small market, an indoor kind of Christmassy market in Monty, where they have all these kind of up and coming designers of jewelry, glasses, and some clothing. I'm gonna do my best to pronounce this. Restucciart. Restucciart vintage sunglasses. So I got these and I love them. Honestly, they fit so nicely. I love how they're metal here 
I'll show you guys the details up close. It kind of reminds me of the Eiffel Tower actually around the outside of them. They do give me nice coverage from the sun. I don't like when sunglasses are too dark. Constantly have to feel like I have to lift them up to check things out, but these are very beautiful, very nice, and they were 40 euros. So a little bit more pricier than the five euro shades, but I know they'll last and they are good quality. It's always good to protect your eyes. So next, I picked up a little power bank. This was 9.99 euros. This would charge my phone twice or give me seven hours of battery on my iPad. I have been looking for one of these for quite some time and oops, I dropped it before I filmed this video. <laughs> but okay, it still works. So this charges right through the USB there and I am that person whose phone always dies. So I'm happy that I have this now, especially before going on my trips to Denmark and Amsterdam. So by the way, I'm filming this on the 22nd of December. So anything that I might obtain in the next couple weeks, I'll share with you in my January favorites. And next. So for my birthday, my host family, they got me this beautiful red shirt, which I have worn in a video already. And I got so many compliments from you guys. And it's so sweet. So I got this shirt from them and it's from Hollister. It's very festive and nice. They also got me another sweater from Hollister too. This comfy gray one right here, which is so neutral. It goes with everything, so soft and comfortable. Honestly, you guys, I'm so happy that I got gifted these for my birthday because as my host mother puts it, I packed to move to Aruba. I didn't pack to move to Rome. I actually didn't realize that it gets quite wintry here and I was trying to find longer sleeve things or a nice sweater but I don't really like to go on the shopping mall so I'm so happy that she picked these out because they're absolutely perfect and I couldn't be happier with them it's very thoughtful and kind gift I'm glad that you guys have liked this one so far too so next, speaking of it being cold and speaking of me not being prepared for it, at that same market in Monty where I picked up the sunglasses, I also got this coat and this was 30 euros. Just like a thick black coat with a nice cut on it. It kind of looks like a long blazer. I'm gonna show a clip of me wearing it in Paris, but it was absolutely perfect for me because I needed a thicker jacket. A sweater fits comfortably underneath. It's just been a really great addition because it is black and it does go with everything and it keeps me warm which I need <laughs> and next so I was in Sephora the other day and I found this makeup eraser I'm really happy with it so far I'm keeping it in the little box here still because I am going traveling and I just wanted something to put it in in case it is a little bit wet so this makeup eraser it is a microfiber cloth like this you don't need to use any products to remove your makeup you just get this wet with warm water and you can totally clear off your eye makeup and it works guys it works I'm so happy that I'm using it now because it feels a lot better to me than to put products or be like scrubbing away at my eyes. If I can just warm this cloth up and wipe it over my eyes, it just feels a lot more environmentally friendly. I have washed this already and I just used a plant-based body wash. So if you guys think that this might be something that you're interested in, I definitely recommend it. I believe it was a little bit on the pricier side. I think it was 20 or 30 euros that I thought about if I were to keep buying makeup remover or scrubbing away my eyes. This was just a better decision for me. You can wash it and reuse it hundreds of times. Next, as I was in Sephora as well, I really do like having a scent to myself. So I had found this Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. I was in Sephora and I was paying. I just turned around and I saw this on display and I was like, oh, that looks very pretty. I'm just gonna smell it because I'm curious. And I haven't been drawn to perfumes in almost a year and Oh my goodness, it smells exactly like the Tahitian Gardenia perfume that I was using. So I fell in love with it immediately and I'd go in there and spray it. Every time I was passing through Termini Station or past the Sephora, I would spray it on myself just to feel if I really liked it. Let me know if you guys have smelled it yet. I absolutely love it, so I'm very happy that I got it. And lastly, I just wanna let you guys know about a YouTuber that I'm absolutely loving. I have sent a few of you over to her channel already, but if you haven't checked her out yet, I'll make sure to link her channel below. And this is Darcy and she is a minimalist mother of 10 and she is just so amazing so positive she always has uplifting messages in her videos and it's just very inspiring to see how you can be a minimalist mother of 10 children her children are just so sweet so adorable it makes me so happy to watch her so I know that you will too anyways guys thank you so much for watching my December favorites let me know what your favorite thing about December is below and I can't wait to share 2017 with you it's gonna be an awesome year and like I said before tons of great content coming up so don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe below and i'll see you again very soon bye